let me share my screen once again and today i have prepared two topic one is you know how to find the message type and message number if some error comes on web pro fury v5 or non sap gui application see sometimes what happens when you are working with v5 or fury you will get some error message directly for example let's suppose you are getting this error message okay database error when storing in edi msg on the ui fab or fury or web in pro application so there generally will not find the message id or message number if you are getting the same error in sap gui there if you you know click on the message it will tell you the message id and message number so there you don't have to worry but on ui fab or fury or some external client if you get simply this message what you can do in order to identify the message id and message number you know go to uh, let me quickly open the sapi logon go to sc16n and t1002 this is the table for storing the message put the message text over here and search you know you will find the message id this is the message id and this is the message number so this is how you can find the message id and message number you can trigger the external breakpoint from the client and stop the breakpoint stop the control on the breakpoint and then you can put the dynamic breakpoint as we have just seen right press f9 select the message tab put the message id and message number and then you can press f8 and the if uh, and the place from where this error is coming it will stop so this is one tips i wanted to share and another so let's can suppose you can show us one once again sorry once again please can you yeah so the requirement is you know uh, if you are getting some error message just message you are getting on ui5 or fury application and if you are not sure what's the message id or message number for this okay so if you are not sure what's the message id or message number for this what you can do you can go to t100 table and there you can give the message under the message text and press f8 you will get the message id and message number got right hopefully you got correct so i believe you understood yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. i mean any message right any message we can directly give mm -hmm. you. any message you can directly come to yeah, this yeah. because this is a table for message Okay. Okay. Fine. Another from Webdriver web also. Hmm. From Webdriver also. Yes. Yeah. Great. Great. Yeah. Another thing. Let's suppose if you want to customize this particular initial screen, right? So this is known as uh, here you can see that SAP Easy Easy Access, right? So this is area menu this is known as the area menu this is you can say the sap menu so similarly you can create your own menu for example that the uh, here already favorite is there we can include our own transaction for example if we are going to use frequently sc38 we can use the sc38 if you want to you know include sc11 you can include this one if you want to include some uh you know other object like program or something like that maybe you can check out if that option is there or not no, url some url is there right i think for program it is not there okay. so like that you can insert into the favorite option but let's suppose you want to create your own sap menu like this so for that purpose you have the sc43 transaction over here right jet ic custom menu we can create and click on this create button 
here demo and click on this create area menu put the cursor over here and click on this button add entry at the if you want to add entry at the same level i don't want to add entry at the same level i want to add entry at a sub node so here you can give let's suppose i want to put the uh, sc38 transaction here you can see the transaction or menu so i am trying to give the sc38 over there under my menu i want to have the function module function module so here we can give the sc37 and let's suppose data dictionary so something whatever you know data dictionary so i can give the sc11 i'm creating my own area menu i use some re uh, report very frequently let's suppose so we can add some report let's suppose i'm going to use uh some of the report maybe this one report very frequently every time so we can use you can select your variant also right however it's not mandatory you can skip the selection screen so you can see that different different options you are going to have over here click on this ok button you can save this one you can save this and that's it right so this is how you can create your area menu so this is zic custom menu is our area menu okay so just save this one this is the area menu now if you go back you want to display your area menu for default what you can do you can go to su01 transaction or you can go to user profile go to the user data select the default and here under the start menu you can give your area menu okay so default by default your area menu will come we see that now your area menu started coming so whenever you are going to log in into the system your area menu will come okay so let me show you now if i'm going to log into the system you can see that my area menu just which i have created and assigned it is coming so this is how you can create your own area menu sometimes the functional people will ask you to create one area menu for their favorite transaction okay you can help them or you know to create such area menu using the transaction sc43 okay with this let's stop our session over here and we will meet in the next session today we will